Hello and welcome to Techno. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to speed up your Windows PC. I'll go step by step. Firstly, as you can see, my desktop is icon free. I mean, there are no icons on my desktop because I don't want to put too many icons on my desktop that will create too many address differences that eventually will slow down my PC. So make sure that you don't keep too many icons on your desktop. And the next thing is cleaning up your temporary files. Daily we keep on using too, too many softwares for our daily purposes. So we do forget deleting the temporary files that are being created by those software. So just hit Windows R. I mean open the run dialog box. Type temp temp and hit enter. Now these are the temporary files. Select all those files and shift delete them. In case if you are unable to delete any files, the reason is those are the files of the programs that are currently running in your Windows PCs. So in that case, skip those files. And the next thing is cleaning up your disk. I mean, open my computer, right click on the OS drive, click on the properties. As you can see, disk, clip, disk clean up option here click it it will show the temporary files and the offline data wait a second it's taking a little bit time to calculate these temporary files so these are the temporary files S select the options that you don't want to keep these temporary files and click OK then it will ask to delete the files hit it so now the disk has the disk cleanup has been done now in the same window click on the tools tab here there is an section of error checking you can see the check now button here hit it it will take a little bit time to activate check the two options click on start then it will ask to schedule a disk check click on it so now when you restart your computer it will check for disk errors click ok and the next thing is as we keep on installing too many software we forget to uncheck the option for startup programs I mean when, in, when installing some software it will ask whether to start this program with Windows boot or not as you can see a lot of my friends will do forget to uncheck this option so when they boot the system in addition to the OS, lot many programs will also start up with the OS. So it will eventually slow down your PC very badly. So how to control your startup programs? Just hit Windows R. I mean open the run dialog box, type msconfig, msconfig. Hit enter. In the general tab you can see three options for startup selection normal startup diagnostic startup and selective startup i recommend you to select the diagnostic startup sorry the selective startup here are two options load system services and load startup services i recommend you to check the load system services only and click apply in the same window you can see startup tab so as you can see all these softwares are unchecked now I mean they are not going to start with Windows wires when you boot the system if you have any antivirus software installed or any anti malware or spyware software installed on your PC please do check those options if you select any of these options in the general tab you will see the second option is partially activated so hit apply and click ok 
normally in some cases it will ask to restart your system so please restart your system you can see a significant change in your PC performance I mean your PC will be very fast compared to your previous experience and in addition to that we recommend installing anti spyware and anti malware software because your antivirus may be scanning viruses on your online PC but the anti malware I mean when you browse too many websites the local data being set by the browser so it will be easy for the hackers to hack your passwords banking information and all so we strongly recommend installing anti spyware and anti malware software let me recommend few software for this this spyboard software this software detects the malicious code in your system and any online security attacks and it will delete the local data set while you browsing ma many websites and in addition we recommend installing malware bytes it is a freeware I mean the free version can do what we need it will detect the malware and it will protect you from hackers in online that's it from our end hope you like this video thanks for watching technol